Thank you very much, uh, Robin, dear colleague, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very honored to be here and I'm very frightened as well because a complication and errors, it's all what it's about. I mean, it's the heart of ERAS uh, because the goal is, of course, uh, we emphasize it all the time, uh, to decrease the complication. And what are we speaking about? This is the real life, those are the complications of some large series um, taken a little bit random, but there are large series as you see the number of patients and uh, you see that the mortality, the morbidity and the leak rate in colorectal surgery depending of a various, of, uh, various element is uh, pretty important. So when we speak from complication inside of an enhanced recovery after surgery program, uh, we speak from a lot of patients. And as uh, um, mentioned by uh, Robin, uh, we did uh, in my Zurich time in 2004 this uh, assessment of uh, complication published the first time in 2004 and assessed again in 2009. And uh, this is this uh, classification which in the meantime has been established, some call in the Dindo or the, the Clavian and uh, just a friend of mine in the US say we'll call it the De Martin but nobody will understand. What is interesting in this uh, assessment of complication is that this is uh, uh, based on consequences. So it is based on the treatment and that's what makes the success of this, uh, this uh, classification and it allows very well to make, uh, to make a, a comparison because when you speak from major or minor complications, it depends from which point of view. And I said yesterday at Franco Carli, we had an anesthesiologist in Geneva, he was called Mr. Aza plus one because every patient by him subjectively were the ASA plus one point. So it's uh, very subjective. So this classification try to be... Okay. This classification try to be uh, as objective as possible. So, but the adequate question for uh, us surgeon is how to improve the general outcome of what we are doing. So, of course, and it was emphasized several times, a perfect surgical technique is of importance, but also today uh, a lot of fancy new technologies, uh, fancy and expensive, what I would call high tech, and uh, uh, some multidisciplinary treatment, if you think of the chemotherapy and radiotherapy for oncologic patients, everything is pretty expensive and also connecting to complication. And the goal, the low tech but seems very efficient, that's all the symposium and the congress is about, is the enhanced general management. So this is high versus low tech. And uh, well, that's a way to see the, the, the element and that's uh, the multimodal concept to minimize uh, stress and catabolism. But the goal is the reduction of complication and actually the hospital stay reduced and the cost reduced is a secondary effect of the reduction of the complication. This is the famous paper in 2005, funding of the ERAS with uh, this famous diagram with all the elements and if you see that, you see the majority of these elements all is about to better recovery but less morbidity. And the question is which element decreases the complication? because it's not really easy, there are about 20 items, maybe a little more if you add the laparoscopy, we'll discuss that in a few moments. And actually this was already shown by your Swedish French uh, last year in a nice uh, paper that the more you use the IAS item, the less you will have symptom, the, yes, the, the less you will have morbidity, and the less you will have readmission as well, because after the hospital the complication can also occur. And of course when you want to see what you are doing, you have to do uh, an audit and I like this picture given to me by our anesthesiologist. Uh, I don't say who is the surgeon, who is the anesthesiologist, but it's supposed to be a mirror and unfortunately the surgeon are not always so great they think or claim they are. So it's important to make an audit of what you are doing and to put that in connection with your complication. And this is one of the first meta-analyses uh, uh, on this topic showing that uh, ERAS reduces the complication uh, by 50%. Then, of course, the Cochrane, a little more strict in the selections criteria, did the same. Show ERAS is safe, you have a low mortality, uh, it reduces the complication by 50%. Uh, you have uh, as consequences a shorter hospital stay in aside for the enhanced recovery after surgery program and this price no uh, increased readmission rate which is of course important. 
And then one can ask, well, uh, all kind of complication are decreased by eras. Well, all complication, you just have seen it. Then they have uh, made us, they usually de do that in uh, Cochrane, very complete. The minor complication based on the Dindo uh, classification are reduced. Uh, the major complications uh, coming just in the middle line, so it's not perfect, but you see the number of patients is based only on three studies. So there is still a lot of work to do to uh, improve the data and the number of patients we have in. And the so-called undefined complication, uh, I don't know why, because they are just uh, undefined. And, uh, but the question we have to discuss also, is it a surgical versus medical complication? I think it would be a, a talk for itself, but we have to keep this in, in mind. And just remember that the classification I mentioned at the beginning is based on the treatment uh, you, will, you will have to do. But the question, of course, is why does ERAS decrease complication? And here it's come, it com become very frightening for me. Uh, number one, because I'm coming on the topic uh, from uh, Ole Lundquist, and number two, there are a lot of experts in this room better than me to discuss that. But we also, in the same paper by Gustafsson, have a nice answer, pretty clear, restriction of intravenous fluid and use of preoperative carbohydrate drinks. So modesty for the surgeon, the surgical technique don't seem to appear in this, but still it is a large field of investigation for that. And on this picture about fluid restriction, I can make two comments. The fellow in charge of the ERAS program in my department is German. And the second comment, uh, this was uh, the fluid restriction was what le led us, the uh, neighbor hospital, take part in our large prospective randomized study we have done several years ago, uh, just uh, because the patient had five to 10 kilo in plus after major colorectal surgery and they wanted to decrease that. So the intravenous fluid restriction, this has been shown a uh, so long time ago by Dilip Lobo, work a lot on that, that the overload uh, delay, the return of gastrointestinal function. And in this paper of Brandstop, you see very well that the complication is directly related to uh, the, the excess in fluid you gave. Again, uh, the fluid, I think it's not only one talk worth, but it's also a symposium per se uh, word, so I will not uh, stay too long. But the relation between the excess of fluid and the complication is pretty clear and demonstrating things a long time. We did it also it published in uh, 2009, and actually we saw uh, as primary endpoint we had the complication, and interestingly we had a significant decrease in both general complication and surgical complication. And this was significant and a proper, very homogeneous group, only left colectomies. So uh, we had, uh, I would say, with that uh, clear data. And what you see here, the independent risk factor for the postoperative complication were connected to fluid restriction and EDA. So we are again full inside of the ERAS protocol. So now the topic from Ole Lundquist, uh, postoperative insulin resistance and carbohydrate. You know that the insulin sensitivity falls with the magnitude of surgery. Just on the right, you see colorectal, and you have almost 50% fall in the, in the sensitivity to, to insulin. And uh, you, of course, know this curve, uh, shown several times by uh, Ole Lundquist, that the whole goal of ERAS is to, uh, let's say, improve this uh, sensitivity to uh, insulin. And it is shown not only colorectal surgery, how important it is. You have here nice data uh, about the cardiac surgery and the uh, clear relationship between the uh, intraoperative insulin resistance and the postoperative complication rate uh, in cardiac surgery. So those are the elements from ERAS who reduces on the pathophysiological point of view uh, the, the insulin resistance. I don't want to insist too long. Uh, we have discussed them uh, all this day, but uh, again, the preoperative carbohydrate, epidural anesthesia, pain control, and early postoperative feeding. So preoperative carbohydrate uh, reduces insulin, insulin in, in, in resistance. This is shown in this uh, pretty old data now. Uh, nor older, it is shown that the EDA reduces the catecholamine, the corticosteroid, but also the insulin uh, sensitivity. I don't think as surgeon I have to show you that. 
And then one question is what's about the nutrition? One should not forget the nutrition, and I'm always ashamed to show to experts like you this, but it is well known that the, mal the malnutrition is a, a risk factor from complication. This is a nice data from the group from Zurich uh, with more than 600 patients, and this is another data who show clearly how uh, the malnutrition is a risk factor for complication and for incre increased uh, hospital stay. Okay, and uh, this is again the, the number for Zurich. For the general complication, uh, you see a clear di uh, difference uh, in malnutrition and uh, non-malnutrition. And for major complication, it's even stronger. Uh, you see the difference is pretty impressive uh, with this uh, factor of malnutrition. So, what is about uh, all these errors item on complication? There they are, nutrition, that's what we just discussed, carbohydrates, that's also to do with feeding, and epidural and fluids, it is with the anesthesiology. Those are uh, important stuff. And what uh, I would quickly share with you is what happened when we implemented uh, the ERA system in our hospital last year. And uh, this is the first uh, comparison everybody is supposed to do when implementing ERAS. So the 50 consecutive patients before ERAS and the 50 consecutive first ERAS patients. So that's the compliance, nothing new. We thought we were good before, we were not. And after that, uh, we have a control of our compliance. I think it's important to do this audit to come back on the cat, on the lion. And what we observed, we observed what you find in the literature. So we had a decrease in the major grade of complication uh, uh, from uh, 22 to 12 percent. It's almost 50 percent, not exactly. And this is the length of stay, uh, median and mean for rectum and from colonic uh, surgery. You see we had a, a lot of uh, decrease. So uh, the implementation of this ERAS was uh, successful. So if you look, we can also say, and it was the work from Didier Roulin, there is a nice poster outside there on this topic, uh, when we look that ERAS, moreover, is cost effective. Complication decrease, hospital stay decrease, what's about the cost, here are the costs, and you see roughly we are about 2,000 Swiss francs per patient. Uh, this would be also a talk per se, or have a look at the detailed uh, poster outside by uh, Didier Roulin. And then it was discussed also by the same Didier Roulin, very important in our ERAS program in, uh, in Lausanne, uh, is the laparoscopy decrease complication. Of course, we have heard that. I talk all the, all the data he actualized, but it is just for the principle to show you uh, this open group versus the laparoscopy group. What we observe, a decrease for the general complication, and what you see between leak and surgical, uh, difficult to say exactly what it is, because it has been emphasized by a Didier, this morning is the presentation, and also by a question by the audience. Of course, it's a huge case selection because we do open only the failure and the redo, and we are teaching center. So what we have done, a uh, little bit different than the data you saw this morning, but the principle is the same. 30 center, we took all them from the, the, the ERAS database at the moment, and you see the same tendency. Of course, uh, beside the LAFA study, which is the first the prospective randomized study, looking at this very precisely, this is not even the best, but let's say this is one available data about the potential benefits of the laparoscopy inside of an enhanced recovery uh, program. But it also shows us that there is a still a huge amount of work to do in this topic. And this is the same uh, decrease with the hospitalization, uh, uh, length of hospitalization. So, uh, one can ask if laparoscopy is an additional ERAS item, probably yes. The data should be improved, need to be confirmed. It seems to reduce the general complication and about the surgical complication, we have some, uh, some tendency, but it is at the moment not really uh, relevant and this needs to be confirmed by further study. So I would summarize this, uh, that ERAS reduces complication if somebody had doubt about it and the hospital stay has secondary effect. Uh, the pathophysiological inside that is uh, the decreases in insulin resistance, uh, the analgesia and fluid restriction is a key element from uh, ERAS, nutrition as well, and the, probably the laparoscopy as well. And uh, still a huge amount of work to do. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.